morning, everybody. Hello, I'm happy to be here. You are on a stamp and chat with Kay, and we're going to make a beautiful yellow hibiscus card. That is the Hawaiian state flower. And before the month is out, I'm pretty sure I'll earn the Maui incentive trip from Stampin' Up! for 2020. So really excited about that. So one uh, lucky customer will probably get an unexpected little gift certificate in the mail from me because when, whoever places that order that puts me over the top to, for the incentive trip, I usually give them a $25 gift certificate. So that's something to look forward to that I'm looking forward to giving out before the end of May here. Yay, we have so many people joining us already. Good morning, good morning, thank you. I am uh, a little discombobulated. I like have not been home. Oh goodness, we have been so busy. And then my husband and I decided that we would join a golf league. And so we're golfing now and it is so much fun. We're getting to meet other couples in the area and it's lots of fun. So that's another little thing I've put on my busy schedule, but it's great. We um, really enjoy golfing together and it's really fun to golf with some other couples and meet new people. All right, so yes. Welcome, welcome. I have a couple of great cards to share with you that I got in my mailbox since the last time we were together. And then I have a gift I want to share with you that was given to me by one of my adopted downline members. Um, and then another downline member dropped off something this morning at my house to compliment that gift. So I'm excited to show that to you too. Wow, we have a lot of people on. You guys must have all been excited about the Humming Along Bundle. The Humming Along Bundle is going to be discontinued, so we will not have that after May 31st. It's Well, not May 31st, I guess it's June 3rd. We can order it through June 3rd, but of course, if the thinlets would sell out before the stamp set, those would be discontinued and unorderable. However, I think as of this morning, the bundle's still available. So if you love, love, love this card, and then I'm also gonna show another card using the same bundle on Thursday. If you love it, you might wanna consider getting that bundle before we can no longer get it. So it's in our occasions catalog, um, and it's a beautiful bundle. I actually, it was one of the first things that I purchased when we got our pre-order as demonstrators, but you know what? I just didn't have time to do it. There was like Valentine's Day, graduations. There was just so many different things that I had to focus on. Um, but yes, I want to answer a couple of questions. People have been emailing me or messaging me wondering if I'm going to do product shares for the annual catalog. And yes, yes, I will. I just haven't had time to go in and figure out what all the details will be about it yet. But you can count on um, definitely a designer series paper share. Um, a ribbon share. We already unfortunately have one of the ribbons on back order. So I have no idea how I'm going to handle that yet. I have to give that some thought. I might just, I had ordered a couple of that ribbon, so I might just do snips of that and not charge anyone for that ribbon. Um, just keep it out of the product share. It's been so incredibly popular that I can't believe it, but Stampin' Up! already sold out just with the demonstrator pre-order, you guys. So you know our customers are going to love it too. So anyway, I will probably just like do a yard or something for everybody that places a ribbon share with me so that they can at least see it. But I won't probably include it in the share just because I don't want you guys to wait till almost July to get it. Plus, I'm busy. I got stuff going on so I can't be dilly-dallying around with these uh, product shares too long. I only offer them for one month. But I'll get details out hopefully next week sometime how that whole product share will work. All right. Oh, good. It's so great to see so many of you. I'm going to flip this camera down. We're going to go through a couple of uh, cards that I got in the mail along with those little gifts. And then we'll start making our featured card. Hello, everybody. It's so great to have you join me. Thank you. We'll start with a card that I got in the mail from one of my downline members. And how appropriate is this? One of my downline members, well, actually I have two downline members that live in Hawaii, and so one of them recently sent, me, sent to me an Aloha card. She used some little flower punches that Stampin' Up! used to carry. She found an Aloha stamp, and she made a sweet little lay, I think it's called a lay, 
for for me just a cute little card just a great um little hello from hawaii card so thank you so much gloria payette for sending me this card i really love it so sweet and i love the colors too kind of muted um just beautiful the next card that I got in the mail is a little bit of a throwback card. Some of you will recognize the stamp set. Um, I don't even remember the name of the stamp set, but it uses um, an ink resist technique where you took a white color crayon. So after stamping your image, I think we probably use basic black or stays on. You take a white crayon and you just color in little bits of the image and then when you go in and sponge over the top of it those little bits that were colored with a crayon resist the ink and so one of my customers sent this card to me she has been a customer since I first started stamping so she's been with me for 12 years and she said she found this in her stash and so I had to share it here just kind of a cute little throwback card so this, again, I don't know the name of this stamp set, but it's probably from the early to mid-2000s when we had this stamp set available. But isn't it cute? I love it. And remember the eyelets? We always used to do eyelets on our cards. Oh, gosh, they were fun. I remember having a little hammer and pounding those in all different ways. We used to use them a lot to attach vellum to our cards. So I do remember those days. Lots of fun. And then I got the cutest little thing from one of my uh, adopted demonstrators. Look at this little tiny, tiny paper stack. She said she purchased it from Stampin' Storage. And so it actually is all done up in rainbow color, as you can see. And it's little tiny pieces of uh, our cardstock. Just a couple of little ones in each slot. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. It's so adorable. And anyway, she gave this to me at the meeting last week, and I was just, um, just in love with it. And when one of my other downline members, Julie Johansson, saw it, she said, "Oh my goodness, I have a, I have a little, um, you know, those little tiny, tiny." Uh, doll houses she says I think I have a little flower vase you can put on top and so this morning I looked in my box outside my door and how cute she had dropped off for me a little vase so this is a little porcelain vase that's actually sized perfectly to fit on this so you can see how adorable that is and she said I could keep it whether I use it or not so I'm definitely going to use it I'm definitely going to keep it and then she also gave me as a little perk um, this adorable little flower vase with cute little flowers that actually kind of match the paper look how good that looks together so I think I'll add this one to this too because look how cute this looks right on top of this i'm i'm just so overwhelmed i have the best downline in the world absolutely the best and they just are they're oh, they actually spoil me i i really don't get to spoil them as much as they spoil me so again i'm just so lucky so anyway thank you so much julie johansson and lisa miltakis for this adorable little accessory that i'm going to use to decorate in my in my stamping area so I'll set this aside. Thank you again, you guys. You are the sweetest, kindest downline a girl could ever have. All right, now let's go ahead and get on to what we're stamping today. I did have a couple of people ask me if I could take a little longer coloring because apparently I went so fast last time that um, probably assuming everybody knew how to do it and not realizing that no, indeed, not everyone knows how to color. So that is why, again, I'm breaking these two up into two videos, the two cards that I'm going to do with Humming Along. So this is the card we're going to recreate, and it's really nice, and it's just very beautifully colored on the top here. So I am going to take the time to color this to show you exactly how you can recreate this look. I'll hold it up so you can get a good look at the coloring. 
And yes, that makes the video a little bit longer, but since we're only doing one card, it shouldn't be too bad. Again, this is the stamp set, and then of course, you save 10% when you get the coordinating uh, thinlets at the same time, and this is not carrying over into the new catalog. So again, something you may want to order before it's no longer available to order. And of course, if you live in Hawaii, ladies, it's it's mandatory that you get this stamp set because you're from Hawaii. You have to have your state flower. And we're actually going to color it the way the Hawaiian state flower is. So that's kind of fun. Of course, you can make hibis hibiscuses many different colors. So however you want to color it is going to work out great. All right, so the first thing that we're going to need, I have my supplies all ready, is we've got some scrap here. So let's go ahead and uh, do our, our stamping and coloring first. So the inks that we're going to use, we're only going to use one ink today. We're going to use Tuxedo Memento Black. And the reason we're using that is because we are going to be coloring with blends. So I have all my blends ready to go to color this flower. So we are going to, first of all, take the hibiscus and you're just using two scraps of Whisper White, and you're going to ink this hibiscus. And you know what, I am going to um, stamp off once on some scrap paper, just because I wanna make sure my, I've had a, had a little bit of time here to condition this stamp. So sometimes the very first time you stamp something, you don't get the best image as the ink is kind of going into the rubber or the photopolymer. So sometimes I just like to take a piece of scrap paper and just stamp away that first image and kind of um, get the stamp all ready for stamping. So now we'll stamp this on our Whisper White scrap. And there it is, all beautiful and ready to color. And then we have another scrap of Whisper White here, and we are going to stamp our sentiment. Let's see, do I want this stamped on Whisper White? Yes, I do. Had to double check here with my, my original. So there's three really nice sentiments that come with the Humming Along bundle, and I should have pointed those out to you. And let me just show them to you. So we have a thank you sentiment, Hope you feel better really soon sentiment and wishing you an amazing birthday sentiment. They can be punched out with a variety of punches or there's also this um, really nice label that you can use to die cut it that comes as part of the set of dies that come with the stamp set. So we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna focus on coloring. So let me grab my colors, and the first thing I'm going to do is color the, the leaf and the stems. So I'm going to be using uh, the Mossy Meadow Stampin' Blends Combo. So you can purchase your stamping blends as a combo pack, or you can purchase them as uh, individual colors. So if you happen to use up all of your dark Mossy Meadow, you can um, purchase it as a or as a single if you just need the dark. So what I've done is I've opened up my my light mossy meadow and I'm using the narrow end because there is um this is pretty fine detail right through here where I'm coloring. So I want to use the narrow end and then I'm going to and this is going to be a little harder for me on video just because I can't get my head over the top of what I'm doing, so I'm kind of off to the side, but we'll do the best we can. But just know you'll be able to do a much better job as long as you're not videotaping at the same time. Then I'm gonna take my little uh, brush end, and again, we're still using the Mossy Meadow Light, and we're just gonna color in the entire leaf. So I like using the brush end when I have a lot of ground to cover. And so again, you can just um, color this in. Give me a couple seconds here and then I'll start talking. It's hard for me to talk and stamp and color all at the same time. All right, so we have the mossy meadow done and we use the light to color it all over. Now we're going to take the dark mossy meadow and we're going to add our highlights. 
are not really highlights, but we're just gonna show off some of the veining in the leaf. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm just gonna color right over the top of that vein in the leaf. And then that's all I'm doing with the dark mossy meadow. Um, if you want to actually, I guess what you could do too is just you know give a little bit of a shadow down here if you'd like uh, with part of the stem up there by the flower. So now I'll hold this up so you can see it. I'll try not to shake too much. But that's what it looks like with the coloring of the leaf and stem. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our pineapple punch um, light Stampin' Blend. And what we're gonna do, you know what? I, I think that's what we're gonna do. Hold on, I've gotta check my notes. You know what, I take that back. What we're going to do is take our, let me see that I got the right things here, hold on. Okay, we're going to take our Dark Daffodil Delight and we're actually going to color just the stamen, so just this little pop out here, because we want to get that colored before we start doing anything else. So I've got again the, the dark end, and this is our Daffodil Delight, and we're just coloring that stamen in, and then this little piece right here. So that's all we had to do. There's really no shading that we're doing. We're just, we're just getting that colored and kind of out of the way. And the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna take the light pineapple punch and we're gonna use the brush end of the light pineapple punch and we're gonna go over the whole entire flower. So this is pretty easy. So we're just gonna color this all in. And what's so nice about using the Stampin' Blends versus using markers, so you don't really have to worry about those lines that you get. You know when you're using a marker and you get those marker lines? That doesn't really happen with our Stampin' Blends. And so that's one of the reasons I really enjoy using the Stampin' Blends. So I'm coloring the whole entire flower so it's very, very light with the um, Pineapple Punch Stampin' Blend in light. So almost done. And that is good, that's all we need to do at this point. So that is the next coloring step that I did. Then we are going to take Dark Lovely Lipstick and we're going to color in, let me show you, the very center of this flower here. And I've tried it different ways and I've decided that it looks the best if you keep it a little more narrow um, from right to left and go a little bit longer from top to bottom. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to take the, the narrow end of the Dark Lovely Lipstick Stampin' Blend. And we are just going to, so I'm just gonna go like this. So I'm just getting kind of uh, where I want it to be and then I'll go on each side and color it like this. So again, I am not an artist by any means, and I don't always know what I'm doing when it comes to coloring, and I know there's many of you out there that can do a much better job than I can, but I did do a couple of practice runs, and I just felt like the flower looked more natural. If you kept that darker colored part longer, and, and then just did, a, did it not quite so far out right to left. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the Dark Daffodil Delight and we are going to color these outer edges. So this time I am using the brush edge, but I'm not going quite up to the edge um, because I don't want to go out of the lines. So I'm just going all the way around the flower with the dark stamp and blend called Daffodil Delight. And we've almost got this done. I would look up and read comments, but if I do, I'm gonna mess up my coloring, so I just can't do that at the same time. 
So all we did at this point, let me hold it up, is I just took the dark daffodil delight all the way around the flower. Then the magic touch is to take the light daffodil delight and we're going to take the brush end again and now we're going to do blending. So this is really about the only blending that I do. So I'm just um, doing little tiny swirls with the light Daffodil Delight and bringing um, some smoothness into the flower from the dark part. And just little, little swirls. And that's all there is to it. Just like that, the flower is done. And it wasn't that hard to do at all. So I'm gonna hold it up so you can see how it looks. And you can see how it just goes from dark to medium to light through this flower. So that's all there is to it, you guys, really easy. Now, I wanna show, um, show you that I did make one in advance so that I wouldn't have to cut it out while we're online. Actually, I would made two in advance, so here they are. I think I'm gonna use this one because I had it out here, didn't realize it. I guess I, I was being extra prepared today. So here it is, and I cut it out again, just as a reminder, with the coordinating uh, die that comes with the bundle. Then what I'm going to do is I have a piece of scrap here. This is Scrap Lovely Lipstick, because I wanna show you something neat that I did with this label. So I cut out the label in both Lovely Lipstick and then also cut out the sentiment with that really pretty label that you get in the bundle. It looks like this. And after it's cut out, it looks like this. So we've got two pieces, one with the words and then one just in Lovely Lipstick. Now, when I, I noticed when I cut it out, and I don't know, every Big Shot machine may or may not be the same, but this little swirl, I'll hold it up here. Well, I could probably show you on both of them. There's a little tiny swirl, and it didn't come out when I pulled it off the Big Shot machine. I know I can pop it out real easy with my fingernails, so I'm going to do that with the white one. But I'm going to leave the lovely lipstick one intact. See? Then, to make a really cute design on your card, all you have to do is take your snail, and we're going to pop this right over the top. So I'm going to line this up, and actually I have to bring it in closer so I can get, um, get a better visual. Make sure it lines up exactly and then press it down. And you have just decorated your label with the lovely lipstick on the bottom so that you have that really cute little swirl in lovely lipstick. Isn't that cute, you guys? How awesome is that? To make sure that this doesn't fall out for you, I would flip it over to the back and just take a little scotch tape just to secure that little uh, swirl onto the lovely lipstick so it doesn't accidentally come out. There we go. So there it is. That is just so fun and it's just gonna add such a great little accent to our card. We also have a scrap of designer series paper that we're using and we are using, and again this, oops, hold on, I have to grab something that got on the floor here. We are using the six by six designer series paper in color pack. This is only available for another week or two because it is being discontinued going into the new catalog. There'll be another type of designer series paper but it won't be exactly these designs. And so just flipping through, you can see it's all of the in colors from 2018, 2020. And then the one that I used is this striped one here. But you know, you could use any of them and just coordinate, coordinate your card entirely based on the designer series paper that you use. And so I have a scrap of this and I just ran it through the Big Shot machine and I used the stitched rectangle framelits. 
which look like this. This is not part of our um, humming along bundle, but it is something that I think is a necessity in the stamp room just because you've got so many different sizes to choose from and it's great for, for creating layers for your cards. So I use the fourth largest of this set right here and you'll just put it over the top of your uh, little scrap paper so that the lines go up and down and then just run it through the Big Shot machine. And you're going to get a cutout that looks like this with the stitched edging all the way around, which I know you can't see, but it's something that you can appreciate in person. Um, and speaking of appreciating in person, I should let you know that if you comment on this video or if you share it on your timeline, you will be in my drawing on Let's see, today is Tuesday. You'll be on in my Thursday morning drawing to possibly win this card. And then I'll send you the card. Um, I don't know what I'll send to you as your little gift because we're not using embellishments. And so it's going to be a surprise. I'll include some kind of ribbon or embellishment with this in your little gift. But it'll be a surprise because I did not... I did not prepare adequately to let you know that what that would be. And I'm running so low on supplies with things that are being um, not carried over that I just don't even know what I have or what I could give you. So we'll just give that a little time for me to stew over. All right, so the next thing that we're going to need to create this card is a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock. This is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I've already done that and I've got it folded here. So let me just take a bone folder and just um, make sure that's really pressed down. Then the next thing we're going to need, again, using that designer series paper that I just showed you, the 2018 2020 in color designer series six by six pack, take one of the pineapple punches and cut it down. And it's four by five and a quarter. And we're going to just layer this right onto the front of our card. And I'm going to use some multi-purpose liquid glue to do that. Because I love using multi-purpose liquid glue because you can kind of just wiggle that into place. So let me pull this up. We're gonna set this right here and just make sure all four of your borders are nice and even. There we go. Then the next thing we're going to do is take this little cutout that we got from our stitched rectangle framelits and we're going to again just use a little glue on the back and we're going to set this so that we have I would say about a half inch at the top and on the right side and just make sure that's that that little border there is pretty much square and even and that looks good. The next thing that we're going to do is take our flower and I am going to use snail on this because I don't want to use the glue on Whisper White just for fear of glue lines. Although it looks like today I'm going to have snail lines, so hold on. We'll get that all. I'll rub that off before I mail it out. Don't you worry. You will get a perfect card, not one with snail lines. So what we're going to do next is we're just going to set this pretty uh, hibiscus right here. And I'm just kind of setting it in. What am I using for my cues? I've noticed that this petal goes up straight up. So I'm just lining that straight up and down with the side here. And then I hope that's just going to make the rest of my card look really nice. Um, and it does. It's working out good. I'm going to rub off this snail. Let's see. Do I have... Oh, I don't. I have a little gummy piece that I use to rub off excess, uh, you know, adhesive when it gets on my cards, but I don't have it with me right now, so I'll take care of that later. Then, to do the inside panel, I have another piece of the Pineapple Punch 6x6 in color designer series paper cut at 3 fourths inches by 4 inches. And again, I'm just going to use a little multi-purpose liquid glue. Set this here at the bottom. It doesn't really show up that well on camera, but it looks really nice in person. 
And then the last thing to creating this card is to take some dimensionals and we're gonna pop up that sentiment. This is a pretty long sentiment, so I'm gonna go ahead and use three dimensionals on it. So then we just take the little backings off and then this is just gonna tuck right in over here and just gonna make sure it looks pretty good because I want this to go to one of my winners. And there it is. So the card is complete. Then when you, if you're one of the winners and you get this card in the mail, you can customize the inside with a sentiment of your choice or just we're just gonna leave it blank and you can write your own sentiment. So here we go, we have our two beautiful hibiscus cards. I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today and learning how to color this beautiful hibiscus. And uh, I'll try to get all of the products that I used onto the computer and a little, a little bit later today so that if you would like to place an order with me, it will be nice and easy to do. So you can find that on my Stamping to Share Facebook page. Have a great day, everybody. I truly appreciate you, and we'll see you on Thursday when we're going to make a hummingbird card, and I will also teach you how to color that one as well. Have a great day. Bye-bye.